everyone welcome back again in my channel today we will see how to create cisco lab on eve mg at first i will show how to install eve mg simulation the community edition using vmware workstation pro it's a fabulous simulation software where you can import many vendor device for study or lab design purpose before we set up eve mg First, we need to download EVNG image or ISO file to use it on VM. Okay, to download EVNG image, we have to go to the browser and here we type EV, just that. Yeah, this is the official website. You can download from here. Now we will download the ISO file. I choose ISO file from Mega Mirror. Okay, this one. You just click download. Well, I have already downloaded this ISO file, so I will just pause the transfer and go to my folder where I kept it. Now I will open my VM again. This is my VMware Workstation Pro 15.5. But no worries, VMware Workstation Play will work too for EVNG simulation. What we will do here is to create a new virtual machine. So we will click here, typical, click next. Check this option, I will install the operating system later. Click next, click on Linux, we will select Ubuntu 64 bit, yeah, this one, click next. Now give a name, uh, we will keep the name as EVNG and this is the folder location, but the default location is C, we will not keep our ISO images to this location, we will change it. I have already created a folder in D drive named as EVNG. Yeah, this one. So select, click OK, click Next. Here's the disk size. It depends on how many images you'd like to import. For small drive, you can choose 50 gig or 100 gig. I'll keep it as 50 gig. Store virtual disk as a single file. Click Next. OK, we will customize hardware here. Uh, for memory, uh, we can raise up to 8 GB if, if you have enough memory space. Uh, processor, it's fine. Processor, I will give it as 2 core processor. The more processor you use, the quicker event you will run. It's fine. And in the CD DVD, okay. We'll have to find out our S image in here. Browse the location, it's in download folder. You know that. Yeah, this one. Okay, just close and click finish. Now we will power on the virtual machine. We will now set up our virtual machine. This English presenter. Install Eve VM. Yeah. English. United States as a territory center. Now we have to wait until we get another prompt. I'll pause the video here and I will skip it. Here we are again. You can see now it's asking for machine name. I'll keep the default and continue. You just press enter to continue. Okay, it says uh, configure the clock based on your present physical location. Your time zone is Asia Dhaka. If it's correct, then press enter. We'll keep the blank in HTTP proxy. Press enter. Just be patient until it retrieves all the files from the wave. In here, we will select install security updates automatically. Okay, our installation is complete. Now we can restart the system. Hit continue, press enter. Now all the necessary files are copied on Linux. I'll pause the video here and we will start from the next prompt. Okay, we are now prompted to log in on Eve and G simulation. Uh, this is the IP address. You can see 192.168.182.128. Just keep the note of this IP. Keep the note 28. Okay, default user is root and password is Eve. You can see we are prompted to change the password. I keep the default password Eve. 
host name for the system i'll keep the default ung this is just basic setup now just press enter okay i don't have any mtp server so we'll just keep blank and press enter now we don't have any proxy settings so we'll keep it as it is okay we can lock in as root so this wave now we will put some command here apt update and then apt get upgrade yes Now we will reboot the system. Just type this command. Now we will import Cisco iOS image to even Gmailator. I will use C7200 iOS image, which is also tested by EvenG. Okay, first of all, login. Root as a user. A password is Eve. Default password. We will create temporary directory okay now we will upload original cisco iOS binary file to temporary directory i will use winscp to transfer the file from windows machine to ev vm i'll put winscp download link in my video description we'll go to the winscp inside you know the ip address this is my evng ip address uh, username is root, password is pave, this is default, yeah connected. You can see this is the folder that I have created in EVNG emulator, double click on it, okay. Now this is my image file, C7200 router iOS image file. If it's a bin file then you have to convert this file to image file we'll go back to our system you can see the file here now we have to move this file we have to move this file to another directory opt directory okay now we will go back to our home directory and remove this temporary directory now we will fix permission do this we'll type this command now we have to run the image and calculate idle pc uses our ios is running now okay we'll type no okay this is our router prompts now we will exit from here we have to press few keys together control third bracket and then now Dynamips calculate suggested idle PC values. Usually the highest value of idle PC will best for your CPU. In the calculation you can see 73 is the highest value. We'll go to the browser and access EVNG via web. You know the IP address of EVNG. And web username default is actually admin, not the root. Password is same, if. Okay, now click here, add an object and then node search for cisco device that we have added yeah you can see a different color this one cisco ios 7206 interface slot to find or save it take another router cisco yeah pull the cable to the of the device interface now select this tool and start the device. Fine. Click console to access this router. Yeah, that's it. This is your router console. There you are. Your both router is ready. Now you can create lab on EVNG. So that's pretty much of it. If you're stuck in anywhere, please do let me know. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.